Hello from Paul Han and welcome to Nanning, capital of the Guangxi region in southwest China. Nanning's home to 8 million people, a large international modern city that never seems to sleep, constantly pulsating with energy and vibrancy. One of the greenest Chinese cities with its many parks and tropical lush landscape. Badminton's elite are engaged in Nanning on day four of eight of top fight action here at the Guangxi Sports Center for the Total BWF Sudaman Cup Grade 1 mixed team tournament. Here's our map showing the extensive reach of the participating teams from far and wide across the globe. Only three teams have ever won the Sudaman Cup, Indonesia, Korea and China. Japan seeking their maiden title as top seeds and they're in action tonight. There's the glinting prize up for grabs, the Sudaman Cup trophy created in honor of Dick Sudaman. The trophy is made of 22 karat gold plated solid silver standing 80 centimeters high. Today is day four and the last of the group stage action in which nations are fighting over a precious last eight quarterfinal spot in Thursday's straight knockout draw. 12 teams in the elite group subdivided into four groups of three teams. The top two teams from each group progress to tomorrow's quarterfinal straight knockout draw. So basically two of the three come through. And let's we'll be turning our attention to Group D, but this morning session, Group 1C was in action, and uh, well, it was won by the defending champions, Korea, who beat the four seeds, Chinese Taipei. Quite a surprise there. 3-2 to top the group, but now at 6 p.m. local time, we'll be turning our attention to the top seeds, Japan, who take on the Thai might from Group 1A. Here come the Japanese team. There's Akane Yamaguchi, familiar face on the left there, or now on the right, in a black tracksuit, all smiles, making her way to the venue. She's up in singles later. Various other athletes as well. Rachinok Intanon, of course, with the earbuds in. It's all the rage these days, isn't it? Kit bags on their backs, ready to do battle. So just confirmation of the match we'll be bringing you then on show court two this evening, Thailand taking on the top seeds, Japan. Both Japan and Thailand really had to dig deep to edge stern Russian resistance 3-2, ensuring progression to the quarterfinal knockout stages. Thailand 3-2 result over Russia last night ensured that uh, they qualified for the quarterfinals, but it wasn't all plain sailing. There was Thai concern as they went down 1-2 after Wang Chiron lost the men's singles, but then Intonon and their powerful mixed doubles duo strong armed their way through to the win. Just confirmation there, as you can see, Russia with no wins, so they're out. Japan and Thailand both go through to the quarterfinals. Oh, fired up, aren't they, the Japanese gang? <laughs> Getting themselves in the right frame of mind for the upcoming match. Uh, various people sort of coming up the steps, waving their tickets, all ready to have fun and watch the match unfold. This evening's order of play. First up, a men's doubles to get the tie underway. It's Japan wheeling out the fireworks first in Kimura and Sonoda. Never a dull moment then when they're around. Then we've the women's singles, former world number one, Akane Yanamaguchi, seeking to redeem a 1-2 head-to-head deficit against world number 20. Porn Pawi, Chochawong from Thailand. Following that, the undisputed king of men singles, the big gun, Kento Momota. He's up against the world number 25, Sithikom Thamasin. Then our fourth match, an all top 10 women's doubles dust up, featuring the Olympic champions, the Japanese third pair, Matsutomo and Takahashi, take on Prajongjai and Kitty Harakun from Thailand. With a mouth-watering mixed doubles battle to round out the evening session. Poivre Nucro with a fresh face beside him for that one. Savatri Amatlape. And when you factor in the fact that both teams have already qualified for the quarterfinals with a group win over Russia, it's always really interesting the strength of the teams that they field. Japan have gone all out in men's singles and men's doubles today. They've got the big guns out, perhaps just honing their best for sterner tests that lie in wait. So both teams had to really dig deep to get past uh, the tough Russian team. Both J 
Japan and Thailand beat the Europeans, only edged them 3-2, ensuring their progression. But, uh, well, as I say, it wasn't straightforward. Thais were quite concerned at one stage because they went 1-2 down to Russia after Wang Chiron lost that singles. But then Intonon strong arming through with the mixed doubles team as well. So they got there in the end. As did Japan as well, they really struggled. You know, 3-2, just edging past Russia. So they've put out a strong team tonight, almost as if to sort of make a statement of intent. And they are absolutely fully loaded. Because, of course, well, here they count the mixed doubles pairing right there. Now, what a force these guys are. Kamura and Sonoda, no less. The world number two team off that career high ranking taking on Kitunapong Kendron and Nipithong Juan Fuquet. Second meeting, they've met once before these two. That was in the Asian Mixed Team Championships of 2017, a long time ago now. And uh, obviously these two came through. They're real live wires if you've not seen them before. Brilliant players. This fellow here, well, with just a bundle of energy. Light his fuse and he just goes off like a firework. He didn't stop. Confirmation of that mixed team championship meeting back in 2017. Fairly comfortable scoreline 21 10 in that second game. <laughs> Okay, so Kedron's going to serve. That's an order, I think it is, to receive. You're not entirely sure. I think it, 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 yeah, I think it was Sonoda to receive. There we are. So, Kitinopong Kedron and Nitifon Fuan Fuapet. Warming up in the near side in yellow. The Japanese on the right side of the court as we look at it. Just getting honed, bit of last minute revision. Point for Pet as we look at his vitals, 27 years old. Born and bred in Bangkok. He's been as high as 11 in the world with uh, Manipong Jongit, Jongit. But he's nice here off a, an, an unright position with his partner here. Pong Kedron. He is younger, 22. And he's been as high as 21 in the world with Dejapol. Pravanukro, who of course has turned his attention to mixed doubles principally as Pravanukro. But these guys, how will they go against the might of the Japanese? Well, this is what happened against Russia. They were downed in three close games. They did very well because Ivanov is an absolute brute, as you've seen, broad shouldered, very tall and imposing. One of those few guys that can really crunch through slow conditions with the power smash. There's Mr. Energy, Kiego Sonoda, 29 years old these days. Ready to play? Off that career high ranking of two in the world. They were also two in the world back in March 2017 with uh, Takashi Kimura, his uh, constant, his side of the net these days, both 29 years old, these two. Always great to watch, never a dull moment. And they uh, they weren't selected in the opening match. So hence no result for them so far. So their first sort of competitive foray out here in Nanning. They'll be pleased to get off to a flying start. But it's often not always that straightforward. They're recent Singapore Open champions, these two. And, uh, he, in your picture, is very visionary, very creative. Hello to the umpire, Ajendra Ray of India. Service judge Gunas Luzferis of Latvia. 26 wins, only nine losses for the Japanese this year, hence that heady world number two ranking. They won the Singapore Open and the Thailand Open and the Malaysian Open. Five times 
runner-up showings as well the world championships in nanjing to lian liu for those of those you that remember denmark open hong kong open as well Runners up there. and the german Ready? and malaysian open Ready? too so a great Ladies year for the team in red all my night japan represented by takeshi kamura and kego sonada and on my left thailand represented by Kitin Upang Kedran and Nipit Phone Phuang Phuapet. Thailand to saw. Kitin Upang Kedran to saw to Takeshi Kamura. Lavol. Men's doubles to get underway. Kamura Sonoda oh. take on the might of Thailand. Japan against Thailand. Japan is the top seeds, of course, here. First match of our oh. night session. Oh. Always tricky when you've not played in the arena, a live match situation. Obviously, they'll, be, they'll have practiced in it, there's no doubting that, but it takes a little while to settle. Good body blow there Two, from one. the Thai duo. Oh. Very alert at the net, Kimura, as always. It's the blur of red. In that front court. Okay. Well played, smashed straight down the line, very uh, court aware there. Coach gesturing, spread the play. Look alert. We don't need to tell him that, do we? It's almost as if the cry from Kimura allows Sonoda then to take a step forward, knowing that he's going to red line at it. Nice changes with the attack speeds. Kimura there taking the pace out of that tight net shot. So good at the flat hard drives, we know all about that, these two. And Lady Lux on their side as well. Juan Corpet just stone footed after that rally in disbelief. But they've won that one, but somehow it wriggled over. Lady Luck on their side, the Japanese. He always plays with a smile, doesn't he? Takashi. Kamira really seems to enjoy life on the tour. Hold Starting to really get the bit between the teeth now, aren't they, these two? Run of five consecutive points here for the Japanese. Just incessant, isn't it? The speed of attack. Nine. And they're, not, they're looking a little glum, aren't they? The tie camp at the moment, understandably. Just a rash of red all over the net. Oh, that's nice. Really good intervention there. Kitten upon Kedron. Now he needs more of that. To do it, he's got to be very bold. Oh. 
That's nice, great awareness. He just felt that Sonoda was backing off there and found the space so nicely, did Kedron. Well, no surprises that the world number twos head to the turn first with an 11 4 advantage. It was eight straight points that really did get the momentum going. Four minutes played. Japan in the driving seat. <laughs> Well, it's been a super alert start from the men in red. Eleven. Top seeds, Japan. of the ties they're trying to spread the Japanese court to find a hole on it but just spilling over the back line there well, nice to see that uh, the luck kind of evens itself out in the long term Oh, that's beautiful. So deceptive from Diego Sonoda. What a terrific rally. Longest rally of the match at 42 shots. And, well, it was so watchable. And what a finish. <laughs> Here he goes. Just makes you tired watching him, doesn't it? see why they're two in the world they're just so inventive and fresh and changing up the look all the time just opening the court so well and the twin intuitively so well together well at the moment they've just managed these two to get a few crumbs from the Japanese table that's all they can muster such is the high quality the other side of the net Sonata just pouncing all over that serve that's good Juan Fuerpe injecting a lot of pace there, almost a, an angry riposte. Needs a few more like that to seriously contest this opener, you'd imagine. Oh, that's amazing. Done really well there, because normally the Japanese players come out of those flat, hard exchanges on top nine times out of ten against most in the world so that was well done again it was the power overhead 
from the uh, sturdy tie built player. Must feel like he's your side of the net. Sheer speed from both the Japanese. Momentarily stepping off stage, then these two, a wry smile, not a frustration, just thank a you. disbelief. Thank you, thank you. It's almost an indulgence playing against this kind of brilliance the other side of the net, just to see how it's done. So rarely can you recreate that in your own country, that kind of top top end quality practice a rare unforced error Takashi Kimura Oh, you've got to love his proactivity there. He hunted that down so quickly. It was a, what you'd call a positive miss. Bodes well for the future. All right, you can see what he's trying to do. Put more sting in his attack. He's trying to smash through the Japanese, and you can understand it. It's a good tactic, but it comes at a price. And that was the cost into the net. Scoreboard motoring away. They are stylish, aren't they? The two Japanese in particular. It's just been utter quality from the off. Oh, that was good. Again, it's... Point for Pet, who intervenes and manages occasionally to muscle through a couple of overheads to have his way. Wonder whether getting to 10 would have been the sub goal from the head coach coming out here for these two. Good work from them. Little fella normally plays with uh, Poivre Nucro. I mentioned that at the top of the program. And uh, while he's up to 27 in the world with him, they made semi finals of the Thai Masters, quarter finals of the Malaysian Open together. So he's a good player in his own right, but he's not with his familiar partner alongside. Having said that, Poivre Nucro has uh, other concerns. He's in the mixed doubles, and uh, well, he's certainly very strong at that, isn't he? Up to fourth in the world. Oh, another long, mesmerizing rally from both teams. Brilliant. Well played. Well, it was that earlier run of eight consecutive points from one to nine for the Japanese that really set precedent out here. Again, when the big man intervenes, he has his way more often than not. He's been good today. And this is a good, decent scoreline against the world number twos. They deserve a lot of credit, the ties. 
Get ready to test. Just so good at rushing you, isn't it? You can see there that just strips you of any time to play with, and you feel like you're constantly on the back foot and being knocked off balance. Talking of knocking off balance, another familiar stinging overhead from Nitifon. Per usual, the blur in red of Sonoda and Kimura secure it. 21 points to 14 inside, quarter of an hour played. Weren't they electric from the off? Just too sharp. strong resistance from the ties but you always sensed that the might of the world number twos was coming out on top now can these two dig deep and perhaps even eke out the game somehow start of game two It's almost like they're just running set plays. They know intuitively where each other is and how to back the partner up. Look at that. It's just like a sixth sense. They do that in their sleep, these two, you'd imagine. Brilliant. He's playing imaginary opponents all the time, isn't he? to attack them. Terrific play. Makes 
you wonder if this fella goes to bed with a sort of running machine strapped to his back. He just doesn't seem to stop, does he? Gego, Gego, you want more? Incredible. His energy level. Imagine when he was younger, trying to put him to bed. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant interception from Takeshi Kimura. Just all over it so quickly. You know, there's something to be said, them having not played in the opening match, because they just look really fresh and extremely hungry, don't they? Not that they ever really don't, but particularly so today. Oh, that's really well played. Kitten upon Kedron there. Was, uh, super alert with the pressure that they're under. Just a little miscommunication there from Sonodo Kimura. A grin from Kimura suggesting you went the wrong way there, didn't you? Yeah, and you. I've logged that. Enough pace on that smash from Kiglas and Brilliant rally, and credit to the ties for coming through. Again, it's that sting in attack from Juan Pet that secured the deal. The longest rally of the match, 53 shots, and that will psychologically do the tie duo the world of good. Brilliant play from them to get their second point on the board in game two. Court attendance on, because it was so lengthy, there were sweat beads dropped all over the place there. Yes, okay, thank you. But you still feel like these two, with all said and done, just have such thank an you. unbelievable defence and sort of flat game that when they're under pressure, you Good just call. can't write them off. They can suddenly just turn points in their favour. And they've also got a pretty nifty attack too. Oh. Something that, with being a little critical, Kedron doesn't perhaps have that, that quite that sting in attack that his partner does. But he makes up for it in other Three, areas. Six. Oh. Oh. Sharp serve there, tight to the net, found its mark. He'll be delighted with that. drop from Kedron. This is where the tie pair also twin very, very effectively together. Look at that, the brute power of the more sturdy one. And the slighter fella, Kedron, just coming up with the gorgeous hand skills. No double knot. Oh, 
Let's find a way to clamber back from Love One down. There's plenty of chili on those smashes. Never tire of that. in there in the picture, probably nice and warm, ready to explode on the court shortly. If he were playing, but he's not. He's probably just had a little practice. It's City Cop. The Masson is having a go at singles. He takes on Kento Momota. That'll be third match up after Pompawi Chochowong takes on Akane Yamaguchi. That's our second match. So. Just giving you a heads up for what's happening. If you are just joining us, welcome, welcome along in the company of Paul Ham. Great to have you. Do stay with us. There's also a terrific match unfolding on the court one. No wonder they're all smiles. They're very reassuring, aren't they, Kimura and Sonoda? Not least in their ranking of two in the world, but the way that they apply their trade, you know, if they're, if they're on your team, well, you want them on your team, don't you, Frank? You know the story. So intense, so passionate, so into the cause. So it's a three point cushion for. World number twos. Missing the cross net. It was very adventurous. Not exactly the right thing to do, you sense, but just a little greedy with the angle. And of course, you've just got so little court to play with. shots from the Japanese. Great commitment from the Thai player. Well, this Thai, of course, an all-Asian tug-of-war. Supremacy. The team from the land of the rising sun really quite something today on the team sheet. They are strong and would put the fear of, you know, God into any team that takes them on, really. It's a different look to, up to uh, when they played Russia. I love what they're trying to do to just sort of move the shuttle around to different corners and spread the defense with the blocks, but the pace just a little buckling in the end. So 11 6 to the turn we go. Number twos in the world in charge. 
Well, very often teams and players will be trying to progress past the sub goal of perhaps the score they got in the first game from the red team. The ties got to 14 in game one as we approach the half hour mark played here on court two. Can they get up there? Uh, Trailing 6 11 at the moment 11, to the Japanese. Six, Well done, good body blow. Big, two points in a row. Mashing the string bed up there, such is his power. It's a fresh frame. Strings that match his attire. Simply, that's Houdini-esque, the way that they escaped there, the Japanese. They were under a lot of pressure. What a turnaround. And they must do that sort of probably five or so points a game where, you know, you think the point's gone against them and suddenly from nowhere they just wrestle it back in their favour. Brilliant return. Read the serve so early, got onto the shuttle at its apex. <laughs> Whatever you can do, I can do better, suggests Kamura. Stunning again. What a treat this is, Badminton fans. Absolutely brilliant. Look at this. 59. Good spatial awareness there to leave that. It didn't spill by much. Really upping the tempo, both teams.
Well, despite the Chilean attack from Sonoda, Kimura buckled at the net. That was really, really watertight from Thailand. They are contesting this encounter gallantly, these two. Given that they don't play regularly together as well, it's quite outstanding. Thought it was going, but it was on the line. Plum. It's his speed into play, doesn't he, with his foot speed? Ability to read the game so fast. Kedra did on the way through. Never tired of watching that rat that stuff with all four players really close to the net. Not that it happens that much, but. Oh, oh, the frame's been smashed. Kimura. Frame is buckled. Let's see if uh, his partner, Tiago Kiago Sonoda. Oh, he's got plenty in the back. Let's see it again. Look at that. There it is. Oopsie. Doesn't take much. And the racket's strung so tight. So, five points in favour of Team Japan right now. Closing in on victory, you sense the world number twos have been just that little bit too good throughout today. Feels long, and the world number twos, Takashi Kimura and Kiego Sunoda, secure the match with it, a point for Japan in the very first match of the day, of the afternoon, I should say. Here, confirmation of the score it was 21 14, 21 13, 38 minutes played. They're delighted, they march onwards. The women's singles up next. Don't go too far. Fist pumps all round for these two. Job done. And there it is. 21-14, 21-13. The Japanese with a point to the good. 